Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? We have a CGC unboxing. We only have three books, right? But uh, we're going to get started. So as always, I'm Otto, coming to you live and direct from the Grotto on 3 Better to Basement. I have Zoe, Zozo's Arena here today. All right, Hi. helping me out. You joined me again? Yeah. Yeah, you came down? Yeah. Oh, what do you have there? <laughs> Starbucks. No way. Yeah. <laughs> did, 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 yes. did all... Go ahead. I got paid this time. Yes. Paid. So do you want to know how much this, this is costing me to have you here? Much. Well, I had to get your brother something and I had yeah. to get you a cake pop. So <laughs> your this sitting is costing me $15.35 extra. Okay. So when you put on top of the price of the CGCs, the books, everything like this, add $15.35 for Zoe's presence. Okay. So as always, uh, we are three better basements. Three better basement. We're sponsored by Rocket Comics. Please check out Rocket Comics for your one-stop shop for all pressing needs. All new customers by mentioning three better basement will get 20% off. All returning customers will get 10% off their total pressing bill. Okay, so just so you know, we have a 2,500 subscriber giveaway coming up, coming up right now. So we would like you to head over to that channel, comments in the comments. We'd like you to put hashtag 3MIB and two or three that you like about the channel, whether you like Zoe and the unboxings, whether you like Dave's silky smooth, buttery voice, or the crankiness of the Canadian. Please let us know. We've got lots of stuff to give away. Some things that we're giving away is a $100 credit towards any book that you purchase on Shortbox. Shortbox was very, very generous to donate this to us, so we're very pleased. And uh, as you go through the feed, you might see a 3 better basement video. Click on that. So, but you have to download the Shortbox app in order to do this. You know what? And it doesn't hurt to look. Also, we have books donated by Comic Toons and Toys, a big to-do, a good friend of the show. Uh, gave me a 9-8 Spider-Man slab and also gave me a nice mystery box full of, um, full of trades, all right? We also have a few things given away. We have a 1 in 100 Berserker from uh, our friends at Ages Comics of Alaska. So we got a great giveaway. So head on over to there. Uh, here's what the video looks like. What do you have to do, Zoe? What? what you, oh, Hit the subscribe button. Yeah. Like the video. Yeah. Comment hashtag pay Zoe. No, what? No. That's, yes. that's, that's, <laughs> oh, my God. Pay Zoe. Okay. So um, always check out the friends of the channel, the Pressable Defects, Very Gary, Aegis Comics, The Lord, Spine Ticks, Keep It Thorough, Erod. These books were pressed by Erod. I'll tell you that story in a minute. Joker M21, all the NY Warriors. As you can see, I'm rocking the NY Warrior shirt and Rocket Comics. So we're going to get started. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit behind these books and uh, what it's all about. So, three books that I picked up at a con in New Jersey. Uh, me and a uh, man from Beantown took a ride down, and I know a lot of the guys from the Defects showed up. Erod showed up with some of his crew, and this was definitely pre-pandemic. I don't remember when this was. It was indoors. You did have to wear masks, yes. So this was during the pandemic, um, and it was quite some time ago. So I bought three books. Uh, all, actually, I bought two of these, and I brought one of them. So this is a very eclectic set of books. One of them is coverless. That's right. I bought a book there. It was coverless. It goes perfect for my collection. I can't wait to you. I can't wait for you to see it. So that book is either going to be a no grade or a 0.5. I don't know if there is um, a back page on it, but I really need it to be a 0.5 because the book that I have that matches it is a 0.5. And what do we call that? I don't know. What do I call it? When everything's the same grade. You don't know? It's no. what I say all the time. No, you don't say that. Oh, my goodness. Oh. What is this? It's linear. What? Have you ever heard that word? No. no. You've never heard Daddy say that's linear? No. Oh, my God. All right. So, without further ado, Zoe, Zozo's Arena. Yes. How many books do you have? Three books. Three books. You're at the screen. We set up a new mic here, guys. We tried to make this work. We heard your comments about how sometimes you can't hear us for some reason. I'm trying something different. So um, we're going to see how this goes. So thank you very much. All right. The first book, Zoe, does it have a cover? Um, I don't know. Okay. Um, Just... Silver Surfer. Okay. Surfer... No. Yes. Okay. So that this is a cover list. This is Silver Surfer number one. I found this right at the show. Uh, I think I paid $70 for it. Uh, why? Because I love coverless comics. My first appearance of Silver Surfer and uh, and Galactus FF48 is coverless at a 0.5 because that has a back cover, okay? So I'm going to close my eyes. I don't expect nothing big on this, but just take a look at the splash page. Am I at the camera, Zoe? Yeah. And we'll see what I got. Oh, I got a 0.5. Yes. I, so there was a back cover right there. So that's totally going to match <laughs> my FF48. But look at this, you guys. If you know the original cover. Right, which you all should, and if you don't, uh, you're watching shame the on channel. You. Yeah, shame on you. <laughs> but check out this page right here. All right, this is the first splash page. This was done by uh, John Busima, 
and uh, it's just fantastic. The, the front cover is amazing. Now, here's the second cover. Again, this is what was supposed to bring you into the book. You know, the, the cover was why you bought it, and then you opened it up, and Stan wanted you guys to think that this was a journey that you take with the splash pages. So I'm really digging this. And you know what? For the hundred and probably five bucks or hundred and um, – yeah, I don't, I don't know if I – if he rod press this or not, I don't think he did, but you wouldn't have to. But uh, he probably did though, because he's well, maybe he did. A, I hope he did. I doesn't matter. Um, but anyway, so just a great way to present your book for a hundred and ten dollars at the most. I mean, we pay a hundred and ten dollars for our power bill and stuff like that. So, Silver Surfer number one, can't wait to display this. Huge fan of it. Uh, Stan Lee, John Bashema, Joe Sinnott, Gene Colan, uh, Cy Shores, The Origin of the Silver Surfer, The Tales of the Watcher, and Origin of the Watcher. Front cover missing, incomplete, but a 0.5 still. Very, very cool book. So, you know, I've also got a short box. You know I have a short box full of coverless books? You don't know what what is. I don't know what a short box is. Well, what do you think it is? You think it's a, a box? box size? short? <laughs> no, it's a box that's what? Short. Right, short. So where do you see short boxes? I don't know. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're all over the place. I have short boxes all over the place. Oh, those things? Yes, those things I can never get wet. Okay, so now, Zoe, tell me who's on the next cover. Is it a Batman book? No, it is a Flash book. Oh, a Flash book. This is a fun, fun book. So, as you guys know, um, I've always, I've slowly, for the past four or five years, been working on my Legion of Doom books, okay? And one of my favorite DC villains, besides Sinestro and Black Adam, is definitely Gorilla Grodd. And I'm a huge fan of these Flash covers at this time. They're in a Silver Age. Flash has a fan. Well, first and foremost, Flash has a fantastic rogues gallery, and Flash all some of Sil Flash's Silver Age books are some of the most iconic, colorful books of all time. Now, why did I buy this book? Why did you? Buy it? I will tell you because the first appearance of Gorilla Grodd is also the first appearance of the Pied Piper. The editor at the time decided that the Pied Piper would be a better villain to put on than a six foot five, three hundred pound telekinetic, um, intelligence, genius level class gorilla. He decided to put a guy with a flute and tights. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Just a bad decision, right? Just a bad decision. Yeah. At least on my part. And my 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 opinion is mine and solely my opinion alone. In my opinion. No, thank you very much, Zoe. You're very kind. So good. Okay. All right. So now I found this book. I do have this book raw, but it's got a huge crease in it. I read it a bunch of times. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, Wait, you actually the, read comic books? What do you think? <laughs> no, they're just for show. Sure, they are for show, but they're also for reading. Oh, Ooh, my goodness. I did oh, not boy. know that. All right. Anyway, so that being said, um, I had Erod press it. I gave it right to him. I go, here you go, man. Send it in. He did it. He did his magic. Uh, with this book, I'm happy with a five, five, six, five in it. Again, this is a book that's for the PC of one of my favorite characters of a great rogues gallery. All right. Okay. Close my eyes. My eyes are closed. All right. I was thinking five, 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 right out of nail. There we go. Perfect. Love the five fives. All right. Uh, but look at this book is pretty man. Holy crow. I thought you said Oh, that. you know why? It got killed on the back. Here, let me show you the front. Clean, clean front. No chipping or nothing. Mm, there's no right. chipping on the back. There is. Wait. Right up there up on top. Oh. You can see the top's a little banged up, a little staining. CGC has been killing us for staining lately, so be careful. Words to the wise. So this is 1962. Is this older or younger than your father? Older. Yes, it is. Thank goodness. Oh, wait, I was going to say younger. No, but I messed it up. No, I it you're up. right. I am younger than this book. <laughs> I know, but I was going to say um, older, but oh my goodness! Like, but then right. I messed it up. <laughs> yeah. So this is uh, John Brome story. This is Carmine Infantino and Joe Giella. Oh my God, cover and art. So this is Carmine Infantino. But look at the way this just pops, man. Talk about right. contrast. The green, reds, the yellows, grod right there. Uh, dope, dope book. I can't wait to show this book. Just a huge book. And this is a book that I would love to display probably next to my first grod, which is maybe a five. Oh, God, I hope it's a five, five. My first gorilla grod is a five, five. I'm going to be ecstatic. I have to go check that right after this. Stay tuned for that. All right, next book. Batman number 241. Okay, Batman 241. This is a square bound book. This is a book that I've had for my PC uh, that I bought from a collection about a year ago. Um, it commands a pretty good price on eBay. I was checking it out. 
but it's a Bernie writes in Batman cover. It's a panel cover. And I am a Batman fan. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this book yet. Maybe if there's a Batman fan out there who's interested, we can make a deal. Maybe at our next Remember the Basement auction, which is coming up in about a week and a half from when you watch this video. So on this book, really, it was in good shape. I remember it. But again, this book is Zoe. Do you see the date on it? Right under the Batman on the label. It's probably 71, 72. Five slash 72, that? Yeah, 72. So that's, yeah, so 72. So right on par with that, okay? So again, with this book, I'm not thinking anything super high. I'd be happy if it's 7580. But again, 50 or above, I'll be more than happy. So Zoe, the book, please. Yes, you okay. have the book. Is the book facing the front? Yes. Is it in front of the camera? Yes. All right. Oh, 70, oh, nice. 70? All right. Oh, it wasn't the panel cover. That's right. But this was an iconic cover. There are some like things on the bottom. Yeah, that's probably why I brought it down. I thought yeah. this was the other book. So, um, oh, this was Neil Adams and Bernie Wrightson. That's right, you guys. <laughs> Neil Adams and Bernie Wrightson. I'm keeping this for the PC. I think I used to have this sticker in the uh, 80s on in my room. But classic cover, solid 7-0. Shout out to uh, Erod, who took care of all these books for me from soup to nuts, pressed them, submitted them. Gave me an idea of where they were when they were coming back. Oh, sorry, I apologize for that. I'm uh, the star of the show here. My gosh, <laughs> and you're covering me, and I'm the star of the show. <sighs> okay, so anyway, hashtag so, pay Zoe. Zoe got paid. That's enough. The movement's <laughs> over. The no, movement's over. Yes, it you got paid. It will never be over. It will you never be over. You got it paid. will never be over. An extra fifteen dollars and thirty-five cents for okay. this. My God. All right, but anyway, you could have said no. Just saying. Don't yeah, but that. then I get more hashtag pay Zoe. All right, hashtag anybody. So, guys, don't you love this cover right here? Neil Adams, Bernie Wrightson right there. Probably Bernie. I wonder if Neil did the inks or if Bernie did the um, thing. But listen to this. This is great. This is Denny O'Neill, Mike Friedrichs, uh, Dick Giordano, Neil Adams, Bernie Wrightson, Off White to White, 1972. I was one years old when this came out. Kid Flash and Lilith appearance and Robin backup story. And there's a letter from David Michelini, which is fantastic. What are you doing up there? All right. So anyway, so three books. One book? One book. Two books. Two books? Oh, you know what? Two out of three DC books. <laughs> there's the cover. Three books. Three bucks. All right. Awesome. So thank you very much for watching uh, this unboxing with Zoe and myself. We had a great time. Um, so we please, in this you. video, hashtag comment and like it. Um, hey, Zoe. All right. If you want, if not, whatever. But thank you very much. Uh, in a week and a half, we are our three minute in basement auction. We're setting up to go. Maybe you see, might see that Batman book in the auction. I don't know, but that's a great book. As always, uh, three minute in basement are Dave in the cave. Roger Levesque. I am Everado. This is Zoe. We are three men in the basement or a dad and her daughter talking about comics. I don't know. So well, shout out to E-Rod for taking care dad. of these books for me. Shout out to all my crew out there and all the people that I hang out with. As always, I am Everado. Peace. Peace.